We go into best save. There's a similar scenario, but it's not a draw for third place. It's a draw for first. So when we're looking at these uh, these uh, nominees, it's Casey Murphy and North Carolina Courage, Arby Bledsoe of the Spirit, Ashton Harris of Orlando Pride, and Bella Bixby, Portland Thorns. Elisa, let's break them down. Casey Murphy is our first nominee. It's against Gotham. Gotham does a nice job to send a dangerous cross across the entire 18-yard box. So Murphy has to shuffle her feet from one side to the other. And then Kawasumi gets a first-time volley to the opposite side post. So Murphy is shuffling her feet across the goal and has to dive backwards to make the initial save. Um, Casey Murphy, a player that we talked about in the NWSL Awards that we think got snubbed. She wasn't even nominated for Goalkeeper of the Year. Um, our second nominee is the goalkeeper of the year winner, Aubrey Bledsoe. It's against North Carolina Courage. Davinia streaking down the field. She has a little slip pass through to her teammate, Amy Rodriguez, who strikes it one time across her body to the far post. Bledsoe makes a diving save. She just parries it wide, so she barely gets her fingertips on it, and it goes wide for a corner kick. That We saw that from Bledsoe so many times this year. Ashlyn Harris. She is a player, a goalkeeper that stopped not one, not two, not three, but four penalty kicks throughout this 2021 season. This penalty kick, I gave it to her third stop of the year against Lynn Williams. It was a beautiful stop. She puts her hands, her fingers in her ear. She blocks out the noise after that save. Uh, that was tied for first place along with the save from Bella Bigsby. This is a great job from Kansas City. They're moving the ball around the box. It's shot to the top of the six-yard box, and Bigsby is in position, but it's Kristen Hamilton who gets her toe on the cross that's coming into the box and redirects the ball. It almost looks like it's going to be chipped over Bella Bigsby's head, but Bigsby somehow, somehow reacts and adjusts, jumps up and backwards towards the open mouth of her own goal and gets one hand all on the ball, is able to collect it and lands on top of it. She doesn't bobble it at all. It's a one-handed grab. I think I even saw on Twitter someone that was voting in this and, and looking at this said, I was sitting right behind that goal when Bella Bigsby made that save. She palmed it with one hand and just brought it into her chest. Um, it's a fantastic goal. So those are our tying to Ashlyn Harris on the penalty kick save. And then Bella Bigsby with the one-arm grab. It was like the wide receiver uh, that I'd love to see the Eagles do. Grab it one-handed and bring it in. Keep it safe. Um, but I Bella love Bigsby did it. I, I, love, I love that both these categories sort of uh, came down to this. It was sort of really kind of close votes, maybe not by the percentages, but you know, every, every vote ended up counting, I think in these final two categories, because similar to best goal, we ended up having a draw, like you meant, like we mentioned, but this time for first place. So, so Casey Murphy walks away with this one um, in, in third with 18.4% of the vote. Aubrey Bledsoe of the spirit uh, with 23.7% of the Twitter poll vote and Ashton Harris and Bella Bixby, walk away with a tie for first place with 28.9 percent of the votes so here we are lisa we didn't realize tiebreakers <laughs> we didn't realize or, or think that we were gonna have to deal with a tie we thought we were done with tiebreakers again we're closing the chapter on 2021 we're like saying adios and farewell but here we are having to deal with tiebreakers again and you and i are going to be the, the tiebreakers. And I think we both have to agree because if we split, that's still a tie. And then we're going to have to flip a coin. But I think you and I have both come to a consensus that it has to go to one player. Mm -hmm. I know who I'm going with and I know who you're going with. So I'm just going to let the people know that Bella Bixby is going to be the winner of our best save award in the attacking third 2021 awards. Uh, congrats to, to Bella Bixby. I mean, that was, I loved hearing you break it down. I loved watching that highlight again on the YouTube uh, channel here. I just enjoyed watching the rise of Bella Bixby mm -hmm. this season period. I don't, I don't know if people understand or realize um, just how difficult of a position that is in NWSL. And number one, first and foremost, for a very, very long time, it was probably the toughest position to earn your starting place in because this is a league that is still growing. And for a long time, it went from – you know, 10 teams and fluctuating to eight or nine teams. And then now we're going back 
to 12 teams and that is 12 jobs uh, for, for goalkeepers. And that is a very tough position uh, to ensure that you have uh, your place. And so with the departure of Adriana French mid season from Portland Thorns, you know, they did that in good faith, you know, in that Adriana France was, was looking to, to make a return to her home uh, state and uh, play for Kansas city in front of family and friends. And they were able to do that sort of with confidence, knowing that they had a hometown kid of their own and Bella Bixby to be able to sort of take over the reins and have that starting position on lock. And when we're looking at that type of save with the type of skill that that takes and body control that that takes, I think this, this franchise is in a good place in goalkeeper moving forward. I think I, I mean, I agree, of course, I, Bella Bixby should be the winner in this. And you do have to kind of look at full picture of these saves. And I'm going to give Ashlyn Harris a little bit of credit here at this point in the game when the penalty kick happens, um, penalty kicks tend to go in favor of the kicker. It's, it's just, they have the advantage in this type of moment. Now, not necessarily against Ashlyn Harris, because as she said, and she told to the public, I do my homework. I know where the, my opponents are going to kick the ball. So this goal came when Orlando was down against North Carolina, 1-0 at this point in the game. It's about the 40th minute, 39th minute, right before halftime. So Ashlyn Harris keeps this, this game at 1-0 heading into halftime, which is a really great job. However, Lynn Williams, the kicker of this penalty kick, I'm going to be frank, Lynn, not the best, well, most well-struck ball that I've seen. It was a little soft. It wasn't necessarily hard to the corners, making it difficult save for Ashlyn Harris. Still, very hard to save penalty yeah. kicks, but because of that and all the factors going into it and everything you just mentioned about Bella Bigsby, I think the more impressive save is Bella Bigsby's um, that she did. And yeah. really, that the season that took her um, from – starting on the bench to them being the starting goalkeeper and, and really ending the season on, on such a high on the pitch. Um, yeah. yeah, we have to give this to Bella Bigsby. I mean, and that's an important like note that you make about that penalty save that we put up to uh, be a nominee with Ash and Harris. I think Lynn Williams would, would agree with you. In fact, I think a lot of players who end up having to go to the spot and take those penalty kicks would agree with you. There is this weird combination at times with penalty kick uh, scenarios in this league where they're about 50, 50, they're 50%. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a great save. And there's 50%. Um, why did you take the kick like that? Where yeah. it maybe wasn't just the best uh, of taken penalty. So it's, it's, it's sometimes a real world toss off. And again, that's another reason why I really love uh, NWSL because when it comes to those scenarios, it really can go uh, either way. But, but for this one, for the save, we're going with Bella Bixby. 